Today, electricity and light are so abundant that numerous experiments have been conducted. This common experiment shows the essence of mirrors and light causing an optical illusion. In the Exploratorium, the Touch the Spring exhibit, a spring is placed right in front of a concave mirror. In reality, the actual spring is not visible to the audience, but what the viewer actually sees is the reflection of the spring by the concave mirror formed in space. When a person tries to touch the spring, the person is actually trying to touch the image. A person's hands move right through the object. Our hands move right through what looks like a solid object. This is a magician's illusion. Here, instead of a spring, we used a bulb. The materials needed are a 16 inch diameter concave mirror, wood, two light sockets, a light bulb, one 3x5 inch card, and adult help. The image you see is formed by the concave spherical mirror. Light rays are spreading out from one point to the light bulb are reflected by the concave mirror so that they come back together at a point in space, creating an image of that point. The first mirror used by people were most likely pools of dark, still water, or water collected in a primitive vessel of some sort. The earliest manufactured mirrors were pieces of polished stone such as obsidian, a naturally occurring volcanic glass. People the story of a man who lived in the dark ages in a cave when electric light bulbs were not so common. The man was poor and could not afford much oil to light up the lamps. The dark caused him so much discomfort that oftentimes he would fall. The man kept living in misery until a morning came and his daughter brought a new bulb that she had found from somewhere and put it in the cave. The man's life became illuminated and he never lived in darkness ever again.